Today I'm at Legacy Thrift Center in Crystal, Minnesota. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. Oh, that's adorable. 79 cents. Very cute. These are super pretty. They don't go with my decor, but I like them. Look at this. Isn't he a happy guy? Wait, is that for an egg, do you think? Oh, it doesn't seem deep enough to hold an egg, but... Wow. He's sweet. Oh, and I think this goes with the Avon stuff. Yep. I don't have that piece. I have most of the pieces in the collection. These are fantastic. Hee <laughs> hee, little duckies. Love. Oh boy, there's bunny mugs. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So fabulous. There's Peter Rabbit. I think this goes with a child's plate. I think I've seen that before. Very sweet. And this one <laughs> has an adorable bunny on it too. So the last time I was here, I think it was the last time I was here, I bought my snowman mug. Do you remember that? And I love it. I use it very often. So it'll be fun to have a spring mug or two. I might have one or two, but this has a nice weight to it. They tend to have bigger items here. Oh, look, the plates that go with my mugs are still here. Oh, and there's dinner plates now. Fun. I do see the mugs are mostly gone. Fun. I think that matches the mug that I got. What is this? This is pretty. Oh, it's plastic. Nice. Blue and white. We're here in the aisle that has a lot of creamers. A little light on stock today. It's usually a little more full. It's very busy in the store, so it could just be that, you know, a lot of stuff has been purchased. These are fun. Milk glass. Totally 80s. Arcopole. France. Totally 80s. Love. This is a fun little stack of saucers. Pretty, pretty. I'm sure there's a lovely craft I could do with those, but I'm not thinking of it right now. <laughs> Sweet little teapot. Love one another. To commemorate the royal wedding of Prince William to Catherine Middleton. Funny. A little restaurant where Jackson. I 
love this. It's a cake dish. If I had somewhere to keep it, I would get that because it's pretty. Look at this. So lovely. I have nowhere to display something like that, but I do like it. In the knickknack aisle. What is she? She's cute. Oh, she's a belt. Adorable. These are useful for crafts. A little tea set. Definitely it seems to be less on the shelves this week. These were here the last time I was here. That's pretty. Not usually drawn to clear glass, but I kind of like that little mini base. Get box. I love him. Adorable. Okay, it looks like they changed things around. So these things used to be on the other side of this wall. So I'm wondering what's on the other side of the wall. Hmm? We'll have to check it out. What is this? Wally bag? Walker bag. Gotcha. <laughs> Couldn't read it. Walker bags. Oh. Read the sign, Nicole. Plastic tablecloths. Oh, I like this one. That's really, really sweet. I guess that makes sense. Probably goes with one of those. 
I don't generally buy saucers. They don't display as well as plates, but these all saucers? This one. Oh, well, I can't tell on that one. That one might just be a dish. Occupied Japan. This is an oldie. Maybe I'll get that for my collection. I haven't bought a blue willow in a while. Teapots and pitchers. And the teacups. Little blue willow. That's a teeny tiny saucer. Okay, I'm on the other side of that wall. It looks like they've put more pillows out and more sheets and towels. So they just kind of expanded the linens. Okay, they've reloaded. They have relocated all of the cross-stitch stuff to the book area. So I'm going to take a moment and go through all this. Look what I found. This is a good one. Heart and hand. Super, super adorable patterns for different seasons. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna look, at, look for more. I love this frame. I don't love the artwork, but I really love the frame. Hmm, I could always use it for a cross stitch thing. I also really like these frames. That's a nice one for cross stitch. This is really pretty for $34. It's a great buy. I don't need it, but I like it. This is fabulous. It's like $25. Wish I had a spot for it. It's fabulous. Even if I had a spot in my shop, great merchandising piece, but I definitely don't. Love it. Pretty roll top desk. See, this is nice because it doesn't have the thing that flips out, which is invariably gets weak. That's why I took mine off and I just use it as a display now. But for this one, you wouldn't need to take it off. This is super cool. 150 year old wardrobe, no delivery. It is huge, beautiful. And then look at some of the details. So this is the key is in here. I saw it. I thought, oh, maybe I didn't see it. I'm incorrect. That is not the key. Um, so cool, though. Oh, there's a key. They should, they should tape that. <laughs> so it doesn't go missing. Fabulous. 
love it. I'm gonna step back from it so you can see a better view. There it is. That really gives you a cool perspective on the wood, like the patterning in the wood, really beautiful. Very cool. And you know I love me some uh, display hutches. These are at Thomasville, $95, very big, love them. These were my colors in like the early 2000s. I still love these colors. Oh, it's not coming up on screen. It looks lighter. It's like a more of a golden yellow. I think it's really pretty. Alas. I love this. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay, now I'm over in the vintage area. You've seen me in here before. So the things over here are usually a little higher priced, but they're like kind of more of a curated area. That's great. I've never seen this before. Love it. a spinny thing for like the rectangular spices. That's cool. Different. Hello, I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to the thrift store. I'm gonna ask this right out of the gate. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos every week, please hit that subscribe button. It really will help my channel. Um, it's been very challenging for me to get new subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe, I would really appreciate it. There's no charge to you, it's absolutely free. And if you hit the little notification bell, it will show you, tell you, whenever I put up a video. I always forget to ask this, so I'm filming this separately. Um, now we'll get on with my haul and all the other things I want to say. <laughs> I always love a trip to Legacy Thrift. I'm actually thinking of going today. It's Saturday, you'll see this Sunday, but that footage is from like a week ago. And so I feel like I'm due for another trip, so maybe I'll go today, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I also wanna make it over to Able Light, which is another one out in the Western suburbs that I really like. And that has been the other one that I've been filming at because the prices have just been really good. So we'll see. Well, I will make a correction. M many times lately, the prices at Able Light have been really good. And then you go in sometimes and it's like, whew, things have skyrocketed. I know it has to do with the pricers. That's what you guys have told me from those of you who like uh, volunteer at thrift stores the prices can fluctuate because of whoever's pricing the things. So um, hopefully there will be more people that are getting on the bandwagon of like pricing things low and moving things out, <laughs> which is my strategy at the Pink Elephant. I don't want things to sit and sit and sit and sit because then it becomes like a stagnant booth and people don't want to go in it because you tend to attract the same customers. Like people repeat, like I repeat at the same thrift stores, right? Same thing happens at the Pink Elephant and I don't want my booth to stagnate. I don't think thrift stores want their stuff to stagnate either. Although I guess a lot of them just throw it out if it doesn't sell, which is unfortunate. So then they price it high and then it doesn't sell and then it gets thrown out. So there's the cycle. But anyway, we digress. I'm here to show you what I bought at the thrift store. Hold on a second. Coffee in my thrifted mug. This is one of the ones I really like. It's the Longer Burger Pottery. So if you ever heard of 
longer burger baskets or as Chris affectionately calls them Lamborghini baskets and that's because when we were first married and longer burger baskets were very popular we were poor and they were very expensive so there was like this it's not just that they were expensive we also didn't have a lot of money so they felt even more expensive so he would call them Lamborghini baskets so that cup is a, is a Lamborghini mug <laughs> Um, but I found it at the thrift store for a few dollars and I love it. I actually had another one, but the handle fell off, which I thought was really weird. So I don't know if that's a flaw in their pottery. I mean, cause these things are probably now like 20 years old. Uh, cause that was the late nineties when I knew of them being really popular, but yeah, one of my Lamborghini mugs, um, the handle fell off. So I had to get rid of it, but now I have this one. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do a few different things today. I'm going to show you my thrift haul from Legacy Thrift, and then I'm going to show you a Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. For those of you who are not interested, who only come for the thrift with me, my apologies, um, but I don't film in the Goodwill Bins anymore, and there's a reason. I will tell you in a second. So I'm going to do thrift haul, Goodwill Outlet Bins haul, and then I have some things that someone, one of the sellers at the Pink Elephant, Brad, hello, uh, he collected for me and put in a little baggie and dropped off for me. And he actually, oh, there's a stack, oh my goodness. There's some really cool stuff and some of you will really appreciate it. If you're not interested in that, that's totally cool, but I'm just giving you a heads up what's coming in the video. Okay, oh, what I was gonna tell you, Goodwill Outlet Bins, I don't film there anymore because my Goodwill Outlet Bins, so I go to the Chaska Goodwill Outlet Bins, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. I've been to the one, there's another one in a town called Brooklyn Center, I think, or Brooklyn Park. It's north of the cities. And then there's one in St. Paul. And pretty much across the board now, Chaska used to be the one that had a lot of hard goods, but across the board, they mostly all have clothes now. So even the Goodwill, the Chaska one, where I used to get such great stuff, has one row of bins. So if you're not familiar, the bins are these big carts, like huge, like, oh, they have to be like probably 10 feet long, maybe ish, and like probably four feet deep. And so, and they're on wheels and they cart them in and they have all the stuff in them. They're usually blue, at least I don't, the ones I've been to. And the stuff is all thrown in and you dig through. And so if you watch a Goodwill Bins video, that's what you're watching. But those bins are all in a row, like rows. They make aisles. And so at our Goodwill Bins now, there used to be every other row was hard goods. Then it was like there was only two rows of hard goods. And now there's only one row of hard goods. So it's not worth it. And sometimes with a haul, well, this haul all came from one trip. But sometimes when I show you a Goodwill Outlet bin haul, Bins haul, it's because I've gone like twice or three times and maybe gotten a few things at each time. And then there's enough to show you, if that makes any sense. So it's just not worth it to film at the, at the bins anymore because it's a lot of toys and there's just not as good stuff anymore. So it's kind of a disappointment. Although at this last trip, it wasn't good, but I found one thing that made it really good. I mean, I have fine things. They're okay. You know, whatever. Um, but one thing like made the whole trip worthwhile. And I was like, Oh, I'm so glad I came. So I will show you that. But first we're going to move, we're going to do our legacy thrift haul. Okay. What do I want to start with? Hmm. I did buy something from the vintage area. That's the more expensive area, the, the area that I said is more like curated. It's meant to be a vintage area. Oh, there's something in here I forgot about. What is it? Oh, that's cute too. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is what I bought at the vintage area. It was $5. Yeah, there's the price. And I just think this will be so adorable on a shelf in the summer for all the patriotic holidays. I can do like, not really like, not glue things in it as an assemblage, but I could put things in it if I want to. Um, yeah, I don't know, I haven't figured out it. I, that's what I will probably do is like put probably some um, boxwood and maybe some spools or something, you know, just do a little display, maybe some of the mini like um, the little, uh, not Q-tip, toothpick flags. Those are always cute in a display. So um, that's what this is for, $5. And you know, I, I like to collect these recipe tins and I've never seen this one before. I'm guessing it's from 1976 would be my guess. It says Syndicate Manufacturing Company, Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Design is copyrighted. So here's the, here's the mark for anyone who's interested. 
So yes, super happy with that. I will put that in my patriotic decor and bring it out for the summer holidays. Okay, then also for me, I did get this little hot pad. This is not going to be super useful as an actual hot pad, but I'm going to hang it on my little bar. You know, I, I told you I have like one of those horizontal hanging bars on my island and I like to put a decorative um, oven mitt or hot pad or whatever pot holder. <sighs> There's some debate about what this is, <laughs> but I like to put a seasonal one on there. I also hang them on the wall, but I have my ones from Dollar Tree for that. So this will go on my little bar, a little horizontal bar. I just think it's so adorable. And it's not like, it's, it's spring. It's not like Easter, you know, which is what I like about it. So it's just like bird nests and bird houses. And this side, does this side have, oh, you can kind of see in the fabric here, but this side you can see it better has an actual bird. And I love birds. So, so that's super cute. Then also for me, I got this plate. I think it's so pretty. And this will just go in one of my displays of blue willow. It's not a saucer. It's just a little plate. Or if it is a saucer, the ridge, I don't think it's a saucer. The, the only ridge on it is out here. I don't like when they have the ridge here. They just don't look as nice on a shelf. Um, they look nice under a, a cup, but not on a shelf. And so this will be look nice on a shelf, or if I want to hang it, I can. This one will probably go on a shelf. And the mark here says made in occupied Japan. So that's how you know it's old. And that was 69 cents. Okay. And then also for me, a lot of the things are for me this week. Um, not from the bins. The bins, a lot of it is for the shop. So there's a balance. But I got this because you may have heard me say I have, there was a collection of these put out by Avon and I have a lot. I actually have never looked to see all the pieces that there are. I just kind of buy them as I find them. I think last year I found like a little planter. I mean, I have several pieces I can show you at Easter time. They're not out yet. They're in my spring bins. But um, this is just another one that I haven't seen. And so I thought maybe I'll put a picture of the kids like in their Easter clothes when they were little. I thought that would be that would be kind of cute. I used to dress them up. You know, the girls would be in matching dresses and we'd get Gabe a little something cute to wear. It's always fun on, on Easter Sunday. So, um, yeah. So that's what I will probably put in here. It's sort of funny sound. It could be Molly. If you hear any weird sounds, Molly's home. It's possible it's her. <laughs> okay, I did get these little cards. Um, not sure yet if I will keep them or I will put them at the shop. I just thought they were so adorable. Um, 69 cents. These would be just cute in a display, but I don't really want to unwrap them. I kind of like that they're, you know, intact. I don't know. So I'll think about that. This is for the shop. And I have one of these. Chris, that's my husband, if you're not familiar, his mom sent it to me and it was his when he was little. And I do a little display with it. I put some Spanish moss in it and a little bunny from the Dollar Tree. It was probably one of the first, I think that was in one of my first videos, like my Goodwill out. I don't know. One of my first videos, I show like what I do with this Easter cup. Um, <clears throat> so I don't need this because I have one that that's like meaningful. Um, hold on. Something's leaning against the camera and it was shaking. Sorry about that. The camera might have shook a little just now. Okay. I think we're okay now. So anyway, I don't need this one and I will be putting this at the shop. I did pay $1.69 for it. And um, Peter Rabbit's pretty popular. People come in and they buy it. The brand is Wedgwood of Etruria and Barlaston, made in England. And I'll just do a little like turning so you can kind of see. It says, now run along and don't get into mischief, is what it says over here by the handle. And then it says, once upon a time, there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. And I did get two mugs and I'm probably keeping both. And what I will do, you saw that I bought a St. Patrick's Day mug for myself. And so then when I'm done with that, I will probably take that out of the cabinet and I will put two into the cabinet <laughs> for spring. Cause I just think that's fun. I really like this one a lot. The sketch of the bunnies 
so adorable. And then the reason I like this one is it reminds me, you know, okay, so you may not know, my son Gabriel lives at his college and uh, in a house with some boys. I did a video about that when we moved him in, but they have a house. One of the boys has a bunny, but it's kind of like the house bunny and it stays inside I forget her oh her name is Ruby she's so cute and this really reminds me of Ruby she has a little more black on her she's more of like tuxedo but this is pretty close and the body type is very similar so it just really reminds me of Ruby Ruby's super sweet and it reminds me of Gabe so I was like you know what I can have as many mugs as I want because it's my life <laughs> And I've been getting rid of other things, so if I want to collect the mugs, I can because I'm getting rid of other things. So anyway, so those will stay here. Okay, and then I did get this pretty little vase. I don't know if I will keep this or I'll put this at the shop. I just thought it was so pretty. It would be really nice with little spring blooms, you know, from the garden. You could do like a few cut flowers. Um, I don't know anything about it other than, I mean, obviously it's mass produced and it's pretty. And it catches the light really nice, which you can kind of see because I have a light right over there. And it was only 99 cents. So whatever I decide to do with it, I'll let you know. Oh, and as an update, one of you had asked about the gourd that I showed. I found it, it was in my other Goodwill Outlet Bins haul, my most recent one. It was a gourd that was carved out and then it had a scene put into it of Jesus at the left. Was it the Last Supper? I think it was the Last Supper. Anyway, I put that at my shop. And one of you had asked, had it sold yet? Because you're in, I was like, well, I don't really ship. But I was like, well, maybe I'll look. Maybe I could get, you know, I'll sh I ship occasionally. But I went to look for it. It sold. It sold really fast. Like, I think it was there less than a week. And I priced it kind of high. It was over $30. And so I thought that was really good. So, yeah. Um, so that did sell for the person who was inquiring. It's gone. And, um, yeah. And those are the kind of things like I get a lot of things from my shop that I don't collect myself that I wouldn't collect myself, but those are the kinds of things that people like to buy, like really different kinds of things, you know? So anyway. Okay. And the other things that I bought, oh, I did buy one other thing from the vintage area. I bought this Valentine. So cute. Oh, speaking of Valentines, if you haven't noticed, Betty is decked out for Valentine's Day, which I love. So it does say grandma on it, which is funny because, you know, Betty is my mother's name and she's the grandma to my kids. So I thought that was kind of cute, but I also liked it because of the polka dots. And then she's got her little banner that I think I got from Target last year for her little vintage necklace, which I adore. Uh, and a hat. And then here, I, um, Still have my Fat Bird Finds stickers. If you need something funny to watch on Friday nights, Fat Bird Finds is a thrifting channel, but they also do a Friday night, what do they call it? Flipping and sipping? Because they do a sale, which is fun. They sell like 10 vintage items. And then it's just, you play games and people are just so funny and they are so funny and it just, they crack me up. So if you ever need something to watch on a Friday, that's what I usually watch. And I sit there and stitch and listen to them but anyway I filled this with some valentines I also replaced two of my napkins um not napkins wow handkerchiefs with valentine handkerchiefs and I have a little sign down here I don't know if you can see that I can't tell if it's in the shot uh it may not be in the shot I can't tell it might be in the shot anyway um so yes I've decorated for valentine's day for you <laughs> so got myself a vintage valentine don't know where I'll put that it probably won't go out this year it'll go in my stash but then I also wanted to share I did get some cross stitch patterns I will also show these on my in more detail in on my cross stitch channel but got this one and this one I love I absolutely love this heart that says 1776 like there's a lot of patriotic cross stitch patterns out there but I don't know I just think that's really cool so that one I'm definitely going to stitch. I don't know about the others. Like the idea here is that you can stitch them all and then you create this thing, probably has a magnet and you can stick a different one on for each month. It's cute, but I don't love hearts per se, but I do love that heart. I'm, I love, I just love the flag like fills the heart. I don't just, I think it's really cool. It's really different. So I'm definitely going to stitch that one and probably soon and it will not take me long 
um, to stitch that. It'll be a quickie. And then I got this because I love this pattern. It says, ho, ho, ho. I'm not doing any Christmas stitching right now. I'm kind of over the Christmas stitching. I'm moving into spring stitching, but um, I did think that was really cute. I also like these feather trees, they're called. Those were really popular, probably like 20 years ago. Um, this pattern is from 1994. <gasps> That's the year I graduated high school, which is 30 years ago. Ah, ah, how did I get here? How did I get to a point where I graduated high school 30 years ago? I don't know. Anyway, but that's where that pattern is from. And then this one I thought was really cute. This is the one I think I showed. And I might actually stitch all of these. I just love, there's just different ones for different seasons. And I think they're really cute. And I could finish them into pillows. Um, is that what these are? Yeah. These are actually, well, itch on my nose. Um, these are finished into like cubes. They're not cubes, but like rectangular cube like pillows so huh, i'm cute i probably wouldn't finish mine that way oh there's two that's right i forgot about this it's through the seasons um yeah so i thought those were kind of cool i like those and then uh, i love this one. Oh my goodness i love this i have never stitched anything for halloween and i think that's because i've been stitching through the patterns that i already have and I'll probably tell this on my stitching step channel too, but I'm going to tell it here too. Um, I have been stitching through the patterns I already have. And a lot of the patterns I bought back 20 years ago. And 20 years ago, we were in a church that did not celebrate Halloween. So I actually don't have Halloween patterns because when I was buying them, I didn't celebrate Halloween. Then we moved to Minnesota and the church we attended here celebrated Halloween. And so we're like, oh, great. We can celebrate Halloween. Um, Cause we didn't have like a personal thing about it. It was just like, you know, you kind of go with your church. So anyway, so we moved here, but then I wasn't really cross stitching because I mean, not that I've always been cross stitching, but I was doing it far less than I do now. And I definitely wasn't buying patterns. I was just working through all those patterns I had previously bought. So all that to say, I don't have Halloween patterns. And so now I'm really excited to have found this one. So it was only 99 cents. The price here is $6, but if I were to buy this today, it would probably cost me 10 to 12 at least. Cross stitch patterns are not cheap, um, especially pa paper ones. So I was really excited to find this. This one um, uses like special buttons. Oh yeah, I can show that. Oh no, I can't show this part. Um, this one uses special buttons. I probably won't be able to get those, but I can substitute for something with something else. Okay. <clears throat> so that is my haul from Legacy Thrift. Now I'm going to move into, let's do, um, let's do the stuff from my friend at the shop because it's right in front of me, my friend Brad. Um, yes, so thoughtful of him. He always leaves me like, if he finds cool stuff, especially for crafting, things he can't sell, he'll leave them for me. But then also he gave me these. So I have a bag of goodies, of, of bits and bobs, which some of you like to see, some of you don't. You can fast forward if you don't like to. Um, but I do want to show these because you know I collect Holly Hobby and these are all uncolored in Holly Hobby coloring books, which are so adorable. Holly Hobby's rainy day. So I really want to um, maybe frame them and put them on a wall, but in frames that I can remove them because I'm not going to color in them, but I might make a photocopy and like color one or do some kind of stitch project from it. That's what I'm thinking. Um, cause I'm not selling it. I can make it for myself uh, into a cross stitch kind of thing. But anyway, but I love the covers. Like, look how cute that is. She's just adorable. So that's that one. Oh, let's see if we can see any years. I'm guessing it's from the eighties. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't have a year. Bummer. No year, but it was 59 cents. It's from the seventies or eighties. That would be my guess. And then this one is adorable. And she's got the little kitty. I mean, that would be so cute on the wall, right? And then um, this is Blue Bonnet. And here she's just going in her mailbox. But this one's so cool because it's the paint with water, which I absolutely loved as a child. So it's really fun to have this. And then this one, look at, oh my goodness. I mean, it's just so cute. Oops, the back, but the back and front are the same. These are just so sweet. I really think they would be cute, hung on a wall in frames, but then if I want to use pictures from them, I can. 
So that's the one thing he left for me. He left me a bag of sewing, sewing kind of things, which I use buttons in my crafting often. So these are very cool. And pins, and those I'll just use for sewing, which today I'm actually planning to do some sewing. I need to finish up some cross stitch projects. And then a whole bag of goodies here. I haven't even looked through this yet because I was waiting to do it on the video. And I'll just, I'll show you some highlights because there's a lot of, oh my gosh, little tiny things. So, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I should have looked through it first because there's just so many good things. Do I have that? No, okay. Oh my gosh. You know my feeling on mini things, miniatures. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, I'll start with this one. Look, it's a bride and groom, and I can put that in my little um, bride and groom display that I do. I didn't do it for Valentine's Day this year. I'm probably going to do it in May. Usually, I do it in Valentine's Day, but um, it's just been really hectic, and I haven't. And I'm traveling. I'm actually traveling um, in the coming weeks, and so I just didn't have time to get all my Valentine decor out. And then I didn't want it like lingering past the holiday because I knew I was going to be um, traveling. So anyway. So I will put my bride and groom stuff out probably in May because I like to see it once a year. Just because like May, June, you know, is like bride month. But June, I usually do patriotic. So that's why I was like, I can put it in May. It would be cute. It's kind of like springy, spring bride, you know, whatever, rebirth. I don't know. Anyway, um, and then there's tons of like miniatures. Look at these. Oh my gosh. So cute. So yeah, and I use these... Um, Sometimes, if I want to take them out of the package, I will make assemblage crafts with them. I haven't decided if I will just display some of these in their packages or maybe like in some kind of binder. I don't know. I have some minis hanging here next to me on this little shelf thing here, but um, handicrafts are fun. <laughs> That's what that says. But they are fun. You're absolutely right. So, and then these are adorable little turtles. So there's just tons of miniature things. Um, oh, do I have these? No, I have different duckies. These are some chicks, chicks, and I have some chicks, but these, they're different. These I probably will hang because I have similar ones here. It'd be fun to display them together. And some stuff for, oh, these are cute. Some little um, ladybugs. So sweet. Okay, and then there's something wrapped. Ooh. Oh yes, he told me about this. Pretty, pretty cup to go with my blue and white stuff. And the mark on here says Double Phoenix Ironstone, whoop, Ming Tree Japan, detergent proof, oven proof. So super pretty. I will put this somewhere with my blue stuff. And then the other thing was some, looks like some, okay, what are these? These, they're doilies. I mean, but they're squares and they have these little pockets. Hmm. Okay. Who knows what these are for? Some, I mean, it seems like they have a specific purpose. No, sorry. I'm trying to hold it for you. It's kind of challenging because it's not tacked down. Can you see that? Are you supposed to take them apart? And it's a, I really don't know. Let me know if you know, is this a set? First of all, it seems like this might be meant to come off. And if so, what do you use them for? Is it like a drink set or something? Like you put it under your drink? I don't know. You tell me, they're cute. Whatever they are, they're, they're cute. And they'll be nice in a display. Okay, so that is my stuff from Brad. Give me a minute to clean up and then I'll be back and we'll do the Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. Oh my gosh. Oh my good golly. As I'm cleaning up, I just saw this guy. <laughs> He's going right here on my shelf. Oh my goodness. You know what? I have my kittens here. Do you remember my kittens? I'm going to put the mouse like right outside the, the um, kitten basket. And then that'll just be a funny little cute display. Okay. I'm going to go take care of that. And then I'm going to clean up and then we'll come back. All right, I had to show this one too. Look at, look at this bunny. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put this on my shelf too. <laughs> Now I'm really going to clean up. Okay, I'm back and I've cleaned up and now I'm set up to show you my Goodwill outlet haul. I'm going to shave. I'm going to shave. <laughs> I'm not going to shave. I'm going to save my favorite find for the end. Mm, I love it so much. And there's a second that I forgot about, which I also love. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. Got this. Boring. It's just a little notepad. Need this because, oh, I have a brain that is constantly going and constantly thinking of ideas. And so sometimes when I work, I think of things that I want to do or that, that I need to take care of. And I just want a place to be able to jot them down. And I'm always looking for paper. I don't have a lot of paper, like little paper. I don't want to use a big notebook page. So I thought that would be useful just to jot things down while I work so that I don't have to interrupt what, what I'm doing. Write it down. Take care of it later. And I got a frame. This will probably go to the shop. It's not vintage, but people like this tone. And yeah, so nothing much to say about that. Oh, by the way. The Goodwill outlet bins are now up to $2.69. I confirmed it. I checked the price. $2.69 a pound. That is so much money. Like it was $1.19 when I started. And I think if you went over like 25 pounds, it was 99 cents a pound. So $2.69 is outrageous. So I'm really careful now also about what I buy. Like I don't buy as much anymore because I don't want to spend that much. Even I'll show you, I got myself a shirt. It weighs a pound. It was going to be $2.69 a pound. He he offered to give it to me to, for because I was like, I don't, I don't want that for it's a used shirt and it has a little something on the, the sleeve. I just got it because it's big and cozy and warm. But I was like, I thought it was going to be like 50 cents. Oh no. So he charged me two bucks, which I was like, okay, that's fine. Well, I'm just like, that's ridiculous that you're charging people two sixty nine dollars a pound. Anyway, that's my little spiel about that. Okay, got these. Um, Goodwill has them for $1.99. They're light, so I didn't pay very much for them. These are going to the shop. And I got this for myself. These are really popular. Hannah has one. Um, this one, it has a crack, but that's okay. It basically makes round ice cubes. Um, which are kind of pleasant. I like to eat ice. <laughs> Not all the time. I don't have a problem. Don't worry. But round ice cubes are kind of fun. It's almost like a hard candy. So um, yeah, so I got that for myself to make some round ice cubes, which sounds weird to some of you, I'm sure. That's okay. Um, and then I got these, you know, I love the stained glass. I mean, this is not real stained glass. Um, these are probably, well, I don't these are probably the ones that people put the beads in and they melt. But I thought they were really well done and cute for Christmas time. Especially this one. I really like the candles. This is a Christmas tree. I may or may not keep this one. Um, if not, I'll put it at the shop. People buy these. I sell them for super cheap. People craft with them and stuff. But um, I got it because it was cute. But I really like this one for myself. Okay. So those are those. What else? What else? Oh, yes. Reach down here. I got this for the shop. It's a cribbage board. If you're not familiar, cribbage is a very fun game that you can play with cards. And people here are very serious about their cribbage boards. And so I thought this one was really cute because it's handmade it's by Hagen and Oates. It says two sisters and some tools. So that's cool. And it's um, in a rainbow pattern and it's got little cribbage pieces on the back. So I thought that was really cute. Someone will snap that up. People, young people, especially the youths, come in looking for cribbage boards fairly often. So I thought that would be cool for them. And then this I got to also put at the shop. It's for knives, um, but it's just so vintage looking. Bless this house, O oh Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. And a very, very vintage looking graphic, which I also might turn into a cross stitch pattern for myself because it's like made to look like cross stitch sort of oh my gosh it's so cute um yeah I really like that I love the little husband and wife so cute. but I'm gonna sell the knife saver it's called a knife saver oh look Ner uh, Nevco yeah Nevco knife saver copyright 1960 Nevco wood products inc there you go cool um, so I will sell this, but not before I take a picture of it and uh, work on translating it to a cross stitch pattern. Okay, and then, uh, oh yeah, hold on. I got this fondue sets, big, big seller right now. Um, this one's not as cool as some of the older vintage ones, but I thought, well, it's in a box. It's Wilton. It's probably from the 80s or 90s. Let's see. Doesn't say when. It's from Walmart initially, but it was $4.77 originally. So, you know, that's 
that's got some age to it because nothing like this is 477 now uh you can't even get a cup of coffee at starbucks for that so so yeah and it comes with um a little stand i don't think that it was ever used um so it's got its bowl where you melt the stuff it comes with three candles that were never used and then this little thing and maybe it was used once because i see a melted candle in there okay <laughs> so you just put that in there with a candle and like this and then it comes with four forks i thought it had four yeah four forks and they're marked so that you don't use anyone else's fondue fork so my guess is this is probably the 80s, 90s. I haven't looked it up. I will, but I haven't. So yeah, I thought that was cute. Someone will definitely want that. I don't do fondue. Do you fondue? I got some cool books. Um, okay. I got this. This I'm going to put at the shop. It's a vintage Hawaiian phrase book. I just thought it was cool. Again, people like quirky stuff and Hawaiian stuff is very popular. So I thought some, this might be interesting for someone's collection. Copyright 1974. This I got for myself. You know, I love cookbooks. And this one, um, I flipped through it and it looked like it had some good recipes. Jumbo Jack's cookbooks um the the wow mom cookbook so this is like some organization put this together what happens is like you can get recipes from everyone in your so you say you have an organization you get recipes from everyone in your organization and then you can make a cookbook out of it and that's what i think these people did um but there are some good looking recipes in there so that's what that's for got this because everything scandinavian sells really well for me because we live in an area where Scandinavian culture, that's who settled here. And so it just is in kind of everything here. So that will go to the shop. Um, I definitely think that will sell. This one I got from Maddie. Um, she was talking about wanting some coffee table books because she has some shelves that are just empty. And I was like, well, coffee table books are nice because then you can have them stacked there. You could put a plant on them, whatever. But then if you want to have something on your coffee table for when you're having people over, you can grab one and like put it under your vase or just put it on the coffee table, you know, and it just looks nice and it gives people something to look at. Like say they're waiting for you to finish making dinner or whatever, you know. So I thought this was cool. Women of our time. And let's see, it was put out in 2002. If, you, if I kind of flip through for you, you can kind of see um, Helen Keller. So yeah, just kind of cool. And that's for Maddie um, for Coffee Table Book. Then got this to sell. New Christmas cookbook. Although I'll probably look through it first, make sure it's not something I want. But um, yeah, I have a lot of cookbooks at this point. And so I'm not trying to acquire like three at a time. <laughs> And I already have one that I definitely want to keep. But cookbooks also sell really well for me. I don't sell them for a lot. But um, there's there's definitely an interest, especially Betty Crocker. So that's for that. And then this I got just because I love the pictures. It says Country Quilts. Um, and it's got patterns in it. And I just love like, looking at it more as like a decor book. Because um, I like this primitive style. Not that I'm, I'm, I'm not going primitive with my decor, but I can incorporate elements, you know, because I have an eclectic mix. So, yeah, I just thought it's fun to look through. It's like an old magazine, you know, fun to look through to get ideas. That's what that's for. And then this I got because, oh, my gosh. So when you look at a book, you got to think about it sometimes in other ways. This might upset people. I'm sorry if you're a book person who never wants to take apart a book. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance, but you were never going to have this book anyway. So it's okay. But it has gorgeous prints in it, like the pages. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can frame some of these. Because I told you, we do like botanicals, birds, and, you know, like nature drawings in our room as our decor. Sorry, also really hard to hold up. But, whew. um, But yeah, so that's what I got this for. It's got beautiful prints of wildflowers. I mean, to buy a print, I probably, books are one of the only things that are still like a good price. I think it's like 69 cents an inch, which by the way, it used to be 19. But 69 cents an inch, I probably paid 69 cents, maybe a dollar for this thing. Um, you know, so a dollar and I'm getting all of these prints. 
like to buy one i would pay way more than that you know like even if i got it cheap even if i got it at a thrift store i'd probably pay like five bucks you know or whatever so that's why i got this there's different sizes and yeah I just really like the style of those prints. Then the other cool thing I got, which is also going to be hard to show you, but this is just going to sit on a shelf, is this super old book. I love old books. This one is completely falling apart. You can kind of see it's separating from its spine. But it's Imperial Publishing Company, Holidays at Home and School. Oh my goodness. It's a Christmas book and it's like got stories about Christmas and holidays and um, evening prayers, just little short stories. I mean, it's just so adorable. Look at this. Look at this picture. So cute. And so this book was published. It was old. 1890. 1890. I mean, the fact that it exists still, you know, like... And it's over 130 years old. Like, I'm holding a book that's 130 years old. So cool. So, so cool. So, yes. Oh, look at that dog sketch. I love it. And this I would not take apart. <laughs> but if there's a, a sketch that I like, I would photocopy it maybe and st stick it in a frame. I think that would be cool. And it's just so sweet. Girlhood. So cute. So, yeah. That... It's very cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making some messes, but I didn't show you my favorite finds. Besides that book, I forgot about my 130 year old book. That is not my favorite find, although I really like it. My second favorite find is this thermos, which is in real rough shape, but you know, I cannot leave a thermos. I love this thing. It didn't, I looked and looked and looked for the lid. It didn't have it. It wasn't there. Um, it's a screw on. I don't use them. I will probably put flowers in this. I think it'll be really pretty. I have the taller one in the same pattern, tall, skinny. Um, but yeah, this one, I'll probably take this off, set it on the side like this, and then put some pretty spring florals on a shelf. That's my thought with that. And then my favorite find of the day. This is the thing that I was like, oh my gosh, this made the whole trip worthwhile. Mm. It's a baby Ben. I have never had one of these. I see them all the time on Instagram. I think they're fabulous. <clears throat> so let's see. West Clock, Baby Ben. And uh, I'll show you all the mechanisms here. There's the back. Made in USA. Yeah. Um, and it's just US patent number. So I just love the look of them. They're so good in a display. I love clocks. So... Yeah, I was super excited about this. Ah, so anyway, all right. So this was an extra long video, but I really wanted to just show you everything all at once. I will have another Thrift With Me video next week. I hope you have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. And oh, hit the subscribe button. I always forget to say that. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.